<laughs> All right, everyone. Hello and welcome. <laughs> if you guys are here to the WWF panel on how to stream to save the planet. Thank you all for being here. If you are here in chat, we really appreciate it. Today, my name is Lucy and we are joined with a bunch of amazing WWF streamers from all over the world, from Australia to Sweden to the UK. I'm joined here with Joy Eileen, Clone Corp, Clone A <laughs> from Clone Corp, <laughs> Lynn Berlin, <laughs> QB and Splucy. Um, do you guys want to give yourselves an introduction? Joy, tell us a bit about yourself um, and what do you do on stream? <laughs> Um, yeah, so we do a lot of closeness and silliness. I have a giant bunny that often tries to interrupt us and <laughs> eat everything that I own. He's eating his own <laughs> camera right now, so he actually can't be here anymore. Oh, but no. <laughs> we do a lot of cozy, com com comforting content like Animal Crossing, and uh, we recently started Spirit Fair, so it's just a lot of closeness. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much for that introduction. Clone A from Clone Corp, would you like to go next? <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm one of the many clones over here at Clone Corp. Uh, what do we do over here? Well, I design scenes. We're actually running on about 820 scenes on my OBS, including about three seasons of my own show. Uh, in that show, we've got about uh, three game shows, six like skit comedy shows. It's a whole bunch of stuff. But like my my show is just basically like inviting a whole bunch of guests on that you guys might have seen across the internet and everything, and just have a bunch of fun with them. <laughs> I love that. Your game shows have been incredible. And we'll talk more about that later when you talk about some of the stuff you've done for charity. Um, oh, yeah. Next up, <laughs> next up, Lynn, would you like to tell us a bit about yourself? Cool. Uh, I can try. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I've been streaming on Twitch for about five years, variety, but uh, I mainly do art stuff. So you can probably see some of my artwork behind me. Um, I just yeah, try and encourage people to get creative. Uh, that seems to just be my my thing, my obsession for for as long as I can remember. So any art questions, hit me up. <laughs> Hell yeah, your art is so cool. I'm always like, dang, oh, wish I could you. do that art. <laughs> You're gonna make um, <laughs> thanks, Lynn, for that introduction. Next up, QB, would you like to give yourself an introduction? <laughs> yes, hi, so I'm QB, uh, QB Gaming. So I basically, I'm just a variety streamer on Twitch. I stream a bunch of different games. Um, I'm live most nights and we just, basically we do a lot of charity work. So I've done quite a few WWF campaigns. Um, we just try and bring the community together for that common cause pretty much. Awesome. You, you're an absolute charity legend. I don't know how you keep doing it. Like every month you've got something going one after the other. I'm just like, busy. wow. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's wild. And finally, but last but not least, Splucy, would you like to tell us a bit about who you are? <laughs> yeah, well, hi, I'm Splucy. I'm a full-time um, streamer from Western Australia. I do a lot of IRL content. Um, I also just chill out, do just chatting. I got a lot of interactive effects and um, every now and then I do gaming. Not very good, but yeah, that's me. That's a mood, <laughs> not very good at gaming. <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys have seen me play Minecraft, but I'm terrible. QB introduced me to it. <laughs> um, and it was it was a time I could not it stay alive fun. for like five minutes. Um, anyways, <laughs> moving on from that. Um, any, if anyone in chat, by the way, wants to ask a question, there is, you know, the PAX Discord. So we are keeping an eye out on stream three goose theater thank you for the compliment Ridula Rora. i appreciate it um and yeah feel free to ask us questions throughout this panel um otherwise we'll be talking about all things charity streaming things about tips if you would like to charity stream or stream in general um and also how you can get involved with wwf and i guess other charities as well so to start off I want to know, how did you guys end up on this panel, other than, you know, me asking you to be on this panel, but you know, um, does anyone want to start off with how you ended up on this panel on PAX for WWF? Any? Yeah, I'll go first. I'll go first. Start? <laughs> Kiwi, do you want to go? Yeah, so um, I was invited by Lucy. Thank you very much for inviting me. Um, Lucy and I work together quite closely in WWF. We do um, what's called community champions. So basically we plan organize and implement all of the streaming uh, campaigns for WWF Australia. Uh, and Lucy was nice enough to invite me on from that. 
Hell yeah, Kiwi, you're an awesome community champion. If <laughs> if any of you guys haven't heard of community champions before, um, this is sort of like a streamer side of organizing WWF streaming events. So um, I'm staff, but like, you know, I can't, you know, it, it, it's always good to have like the community itself talk about what they want and what you guys like care about and what sort of, you know, whether you want a nine day event or a 16 day event it's always really good to hear from you know the people who you're organizing for and i'm sure you guys can exactly. relate with your communities right like your streams and your communities would be like you, you can't separate them right mm. yeah um cool and does anyone else want to start on how they ended up on this stream or we can move on to the next question <laughs> Anyone super enthusiastic about this? Otherwise, we'll we'll move on to the next thing. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all kind of similar being invited by you. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably yeah. not the best question to start off with. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's cool. Um, how about, here's a question. Why do you care about the wildlife and or the environment? Mm, that is a good Have you one. Have seen how cute they are? Like, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cut this yeah. environment very, stuff. Mm. They're just real cute. <laughs> very unique wildlife <laughs> to Australia. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I feel like this, I, it has always followed me even since I was a kid. I was one of those very silly kids that would like try to uh, guide worms that had gone onto the pavements off from the pavements oh. <laughs> and like yeah. try to save them. So I've always felt this passion. I grew up on a farm too. So I think like seeing the animals and like naming them and all those things really gave me this passion to just try to make them feel good and make them help out the pretty helpless I think mm -hmm. yeah exactly yeah as oh, a kid really as well sweet. for me I'd like yeah. go for like I'd follow, like cats would follow me home after school and stuff because yeah my mom would always tell me off but I was like but look at them <laughs> they're so <laughs> cute <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah you know I don't know you just something so innocent and you just want to protect animals that's really yeah. it so. yeah, <laughs> sure. yeah um, i even enjoy mm -hmm. like picking trash in school it's super weird i just like the the uh, idea of like making the environment clean and happy has just always been uh, like a calling i guess yeah like for sure i know Wednesday. that in australia yeah so wetland did you say wetlands day wetlands day yeah like like oh. so anytime it was an environmental day i always just had such a blast like learning more about like how the environment works i just i don't know it was mesmerizing growing up being like mm. they do this for free like trees help <laughs> us breathe <laughs> <laughs> so it was just super exciting to be like i can plant trees it's like i can give people air it was like a exciting thing for growing up <laughs> you're just like i can help you know people Aww, have a better yeah. day so and animals that's, and that's so fun. sweet i love that <laughs> i love that i know that in australia we have clean up australia day i don't know if you guys have a mm. similar sort of thing in sweden or the uk we i think we just like i know we have with school that day we just like the specific day when we would go out to our entire school and just clean like our village mm, but i don't know if it's like a more <laughs> national thing or just in our village not sure. clone would you like to <laughs> add I, anything I, I, from you <laughs> i don't think we have anything like that in the uk i just mean people just trying mm. to recycle as much as possible and keep everything clean even though they're not really <laughs> <laughs> i mean we try our best right yeah. <laughs> we try our yeah. best yeah. um cool well um does anyone else have any other wildlife environment origin stories that they would like to share or we'll start talking about charity streaming, the main topic of today. No? All right, we're, yeah. we're moving on. We're jumping on. Um, first question of the day. Oh, actually, um, <laughs> we've actually got a question from the chat, which we'll start off with. <laughs> um, for a, M asks, for a person who just wants to start streaming solely for charity and stuff, how do I start? Also, shout out to QB for being an inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Um, does anyone want to start off with how do you start streaming solely for charity? Yeah, I can get started on that one for you. Mm -hmm. So basically, if, you, um, if you're trying to get into streaming in general, um, obviously just go into YouTube, find out how to stream, what programs to use. But for charity specifically, um, the best one is WWF Australia, obviously. Uh, but you can go <laughs> on to um, 
you can go onto sites and you can look for charities and reach out to whichever one that you want to work with. So like if you've got a passion for animals, you've got a passion for whatever it is, find that charity and just reach out. Reach out and say, how can I help? How can I stream for you? A lot of the charities have platforms that you can set up donations directly. So you don't have to accept money and then pass the money on because that's not always, um, it's not always advisable because people can charge back and so forth. So it's always good to try and find a way to do it directly. Uh, but just reach out to any charity that you want to work with and they'll help you. So like yeah, streaming is, for example, one of the many things, like before that's like volunteering your time and stuff. So basically with streaming, you can volunteer your time, but at the comfort of your own home. So yeah, so charities are really evolving to getting into streaming now. So um, I guess it'd be a similar mechanic to just like, you know, looking for, you know, non-for-profit organizations you want to support it'd be a similar thing just now it's streaming so yeah I didn't even think about that but yeah you could totally just <laughs> start up a stream and be like yeah communities come at me let's go to your charities <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah it definitely doesn't yeah. have to be very complicated either just no. like streaming as you normally do as well if you're already a streamer you know and just having a few commands with links to where to donate and you know yeah. it really doesn't have to be yeah. this grand <laughs> event yeah and i feel like a lot of charities nowadays have like a bit of a template for people that are interested in streaming for mm. things yep. so you yeah. know, it's a lot more clearer for people that are starting out um, yeah it's no different really other than like the virtual aspect of it to like yeah. organizing a fundraiser at your school yes like exactly. selling cupcakes yeah. or whatever like it's, it's very <laughs> yeah. similar in the sense that you're someone who wants to help out and fundraise um yeah. and then you just do it on your own stream mm. yeah um oh my gosh chat please <laughs> 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 um um <laughs> I I don't want to make this stream about myself, Madula. No, no, QB. No, don't <laughs> Ellie, please, I agree. Let's make her president. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, speaking of how you got involved with WWF, how do we, like, I'll, I'll ask this question to all of you guys, since it's not just something that's, in, like, I can answer. I can start off with how I got involved, but um, we'll go ask around, we'll go around the table, I mean, the not table we're not in a table around the zoom call <laughs> <laughs> um you can pretend it's a table yeah yeah we can pretend we're all sitting around a table just yeah. having a chat you know it's very a different background <laughs> yeah <laughs> special well room. um i'm gonna start with how i got involved with wwf um i think i started off with volunteering actually as um an earth hour volunteer i went around asking people to sign a petition for our prime minister to turn his lights off for earth hour in 2016 <laughs> um he did not uh but you know <laughs> you can only try right um but that's that's i think my first interaction with wwf um and then a few years down the line two years later um i saw there was an ad on a job board and it was like work as a live stream fundraising coordinator at WWF. I know it's not that in interesting. It literally just, I just applied for the job. So, and then I got the job and now I'm here. Honestly, I didn't know anything about Twitch when I started. Don't know. <laughs> it was love at first. Um, <laughs> 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 um, but you know, now, now I stream myself and um, was that your pro question? No. <laughs> um, and the journey to where I am now, honestly, like this job threw me so far in the deep end. I knew nothing about Twitch, nothing about streaming. Didn't understand. I, I literally had to ask the partnerships person from Twitch A and Z, like what bits were. I was like, I don't understand. <laughs> what are bits? Like, why would people donate? But like, why do people pay money for emotes? And then I was like, oh, okay, I get it now. Like eventually it took me, you know, a little bit of time, but jumping straight in. Um, and that's how I ended up doing WWF streaming stuff. Um, does anyone else want to answer how they ended up with WWF? Um, do we want to jump to Clone? Would you like to say anything about how? Oh, sorry, you're right. Yeah. You're oh my God. <laughs> well, like, well, there's <laughs> two parts to it, isn't it? Like, I mean, yeah. um, it was before I even rebranded to Clone Corp, and it was my old brand and everything. And uh, I always, I can't remember now if I approached you because, uh, like, my buddy Sam Green, a big, big shout, yeah. Sam Greeny boy. Uh, <laughs> Sam Green. <laughs> um yeah like he was doing like a charity for you guys and then i was just like oh that seems awesome i've always wanted to help out wwf and then i got in contact with you through uh sam and everything and then mm -hmm. was it we did like a big long i think it was 24 hour stream yeah uh, you did 
Yeah, I didn't dry shave my face. That was horrible. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what was it? Um, like, I think it was, it was two years, is it? Or a year? Yeah, it was two uh, years yeah. ago. Just under yeah. two years ago. Yeah, yeah, so like fast forward to this year and everything. I think it was was it March? I can't, this year's just been a blur. Or whatever. <laughs> I know, <laughs> honestly. Oh my god, that's it. So yeah, the last charity and everything. We organized a um, twelve-hour charity event of six episodes of my game show back to back, and we oh god, what was it about thirty-four guests we had to organize within three days? Oh my goodness. It was absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we got a whole host of awesome people on. I mean, like a bunch of uh, Australians as well, was it? We had Robotron on and everyone. But like, yeah, it was good. It was real good. I think we raised about two and a half grand for that. Something like that. Within yeah, you absolutely hours. smashed it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's so <laughs> cool to see how you've like evolved and grown as like a streamer over the past two years as well. Like oh, I knew you before you were Clone Corp. Like what? <laughs> yeah, um, I know, right? <laughs> 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 and to be honest, it's funny because you you found WWF through your friend, right? Um, yeah. But you've ended up being more involved, and now you're on the freaking PAX channel. Like, I was actually channel. watching right now before I went it's... on. I was like, Sam, I'm going to be on the panel. I was like, oh, I'm going to watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, hi, Sam, it. if you're here. <laughs> Say hi in the Discord. <laughs> That's an awesome oh. story. Thank you so much yeah. for sharing that. We'll talk more about our experiences with charity streaming in a second. But before we do that, let's jump around to Spoosie. Do you want to share how you got involved with WWF? Because you've got your own story. <laughs> yeah, I um, uh, I actually did like fundraising for like USA for like um, foster and um, sort of home, well, foster homes and homeless uh, shelters. And um, I, I felt so bad because I was kind of under a rock at the time, not listening to the news and people coming in like, do you know what's going on with Australia? Why aren't you raising money for Australia? And then that's when mm -hmm. I kind of looked at the news. I'm like, oh my God, yeah, that, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is tragic. <laughs> like, you know, over a billion animals died like in the end. So it wasn't long before I was doing um, some fundraising as well. Um, uh, another streamer, Jeannie Bra, um, was interested in doing 12 hours and I wanted to do 12 hours because I just did 24 hour like stream. I was like, want to do some fundraising? <laughs> I'm like, I'm exhausted, uh -huh. but yeah, let's do this. And I Aww. mentioned the idea to like my community and stuff. And like, I have a few streamers coming through that were like, that sounds like a great idea. Can we get involved? So then mm -hmm. like we, then we're getting all this interest. So then we ended up like coordinating, trying to find out when everyone was available. And we just kept going 12 hours, raid to the next one, 12 hours, raid to the next one. And it was like close to 200 hours all up. And we raised about $17,500. It's like crazy. yeah, yeah we, we had we had a goal of like three thousand. We thought we'd be lucky if he and I would be able to reach that in twenty four hours. And yeah, for us to keep going for you know about two hundred hours, but it was it was amazing. Yeah, it was mm. really cool. you guys absolutely smashed it. I remember when um I first heard about it, I was like, wait, what is this thing that's going on? <laughs> and it was like you had all organized it on your own as well. Like normally, I'm used to being the one to be like, hey, can you please like fundraise for WWF yeah. and then you're here like hey we're doing this thing and other people are like jumping on that's so yeah. that's so cool yeah um, no, no that was really cool yeah like it was just cool to see like you know similar people like in my community also being in these other people's streams just to like encourage it to keep going for as long as it did yeah. so yeah it was cool 12 hours each that's that's wild that's oh yeah some wild. people were like can I do six I'm like no <laughs> we have to keep the hype up you have to do 12 hours <laughs> I filled in like here and there. I'm like, no, I'll do 12 hours again. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, um, yeah. I noticed you did more than one stream for that. Like, yeah. Strain. That was, that's a lot of, lot of time and energy yeah. put into that. So I really yeah. appreciate it. You guys put in so much work into your charity streams to WWF and I really, really, really appreciate it all. Mm -hmm. um, does anyone else want to share their stories of how they started off with WWF? Joy, did you want to go? Yeah, <laughs> I actually, um, it's from when I was like eight, nine years old. And I know that my brother used to sell these magazines for just like, you would sell them and you could like exchange them for items basically. And then mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this sounds like a fun idea, I guess. And then I saw WWF had that thing so you could sell magazines for proper profit for them. And I was like, oh my God, I can like... <laughs> help wwf this is so cool so even Aww. at that point I, I was i would like knock on doors and be like do you want the perfect goes to wwf and um 
it sort of was always just like some a call I guess a calling game like I said before and then uh after I started streaming I I want I so badly wanted to find some sort of way like me maybe for a specific animal to race for or anything I had all these ideas I wanted to do and then it was actually again due to the bushfires to the fires in in Australia um I was like this is the, the perfect opportunity to jump into racing through streaming um mm-hmm. and I I've told this on stream but it felt like a, a dream come true when when oh. I got this like the t-shirt and the the thing mm-hmm. sent to me and you sent the little card and I'm like oh my god I'm in direct contact with WWF my inner child was like oh my goodness this is unreal <laughs> so it's like a dream oh. honestly no joy a you're a dream for us no <laughs> No, yeah. stop it. <laughs> <Not you. laughs> um, yeah, we really, really appreciate you being part of it. You've done so much for WWF. Um, and it's so great to know that this was your like childhood dream as well. Yeah. Like <laughs> dreams come true. Like what? Yeah. you're gonna um, make me cry. Stop it. No, <laughs> no you're yeah, ordering you're gonna... up. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh well, thank you for sharing your story. That's so. I didn't know that they, you could sell magazines for charities. What? Yeah, that's. Really cool. Um, mm-hmm. I'll have to talk about that at some other time. Um, Lynn, do you want to share how how you got involved? Oh that's yeah, that's big. right. I remember how we got involved. Yeah, I remember too. So it's at PAX actually, <laughs> and um, I think I just finished a live stream, and then Lucy appeared in front of me, all like. Hey, Lynn Blue. I was like, she's adorable. What's what are you doing? And then she threw pens and pins at me, and I was excited. So, uh, since then, we just kind of started this charity online relationship. Really, that's 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 the story. But overall, like, I've been in, I've been streaming for so long, and it's just after a while, you just kind of like, how can I inject more of my interests into my content? So it was just a bit of a blessing that Lucy appeared in front of me because, you know, WWF is something I definitely like align with completely. So um, I'm super passionate about a lot of the, like all the projects that they've done and all the things that they've been doing for the environment. So yeah, it was just a good push really. Lucy just appeared at the perfect Aww. time for me to be like, yes, this is <laughs> what I want to do. So, um, and because of that, you know, Aww. I found out my community also has the same kind of, you know, I don't know, it's brought like a huge positive, yeah, throw stuff at me, uh, um, <laughs> huge positive um, community together. Like my, I've been getting messages of people being like, hey, you know, I'm using less plastics and um, I'm looking into all these other alternative options and it all started just because Lucy appeared in front of me so um, it's Aww. thank you for finding me <laughs> um, no, it's been you. so rewarding to like just even like even my community has been telling me how to do like more eco-friendly things so it's just I don't know I don't know how to express the fact that I was able to be grateful enough and like lucky enough to inject my interests and have my community just come back in tenfold just teaching me all these things to you know, I don't even know. It was just been—it's been great. It's been great. <laughs> oh, that's so yeah. sweet to hear. I had no idea because, like, I remember when um, I first approached you at PAX. I that I was like maybe one or two months into my job, and I still didn't really know anything about Twitch, right? I didn't know anything about Twitch. I didn't. I've never been to a convention before that. Um, so that I was probably on like one hour of sleep when I approached you. Someone was like, Lynn Valin, there is a streamer, you should go say hi. And I was like, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm so, so glad to have you be a part of our community and to, you guys in chat, stop it. Um, <laughs> to like, have you be so involved and to have like such a good impact both ways. Like, not only, you know, are you raising funds for WWF, but I'm really glad to hear that you're able to get a lot back from streaming for, you know, wildlife and animals and being able to, like, be more conscious of it through that as well. Um, that's really great to hear. And I'm that's been a huge awesome. positive impact on my community, for sure. Like, Aww. you know, you just wouldn't think about these things usually, but, you know, when you start injecting your causes and things you care about into your community, you're, you'd be amazed at, like um the kind of environment you create for yourself and I don't know I just have such a considerate community <laughs> like they're so lovely Aww. so um and yeah that just opened my eyes to that even more so 
Thanks, Lucy. Yeah, shout out to all the communities, everyone out here. No, don't thank me. Thank you. Like everyone here, everyone who's watching, all all of your communities who have like, you know, donated or just shown up and supported your streams. Like we wouldn't be here if it weren't for them, right? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys and you guys wouldn't be here if it weren't for them. So at the end of the day, it's just everyone showing support and gathering together for a cause they care about and it, and it really warms my heart you guys are so sweet <laughs> <laughs> um QB we haven't actually asked you yet um about yes how you got involved with WWF do you want to do you want to share your story yeah sure so I've only been streaming for like just over two years now um in 2019 I realized that I could do stuff for charity from streaming so I did all the bits from my Twitch stream every month went to a different charity and the subs voted on the charity every month. And, you know, that's mm -hmm. obviously as a new streamer, that's not a lot. It's like $30, $50, whatever it is. Um, and I did that for the entire 2019. It was very fun. Um, it was fun getting everyone involved. And they were, su they were suggesting charities because their uncle, you know, had disabilities. And, and everyone's like, yeah, let's do that one this month. It was really, really fun, engaging. And it showed me that my community can, um, well, do care about these sort of things. It can jump on board and help each other out. Um, and then... I actually went to Queensland for New Year's, just gone. Um, and I didn't realise how bad the Australian bushfires were actually getting. Um, mm -hmm. And when I went there, I went via Adelaide to see my parents. And my dad wasn't there. He was actually in Sydney helping with the bushfires. And I was like, are they that bad? Like, you have to go to, to Sydney to do that? And yet they, apparently they were fucking... Oh, sorry. Apparently they were really good. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> apparently they were there. Sorry, I'm passionate. No, apparently they were... Like, <laughs> a lot worse than I thought they were. Um, and then I mm -hmm. saw that my grandparents were getting evacuated from the housing in Adelaide. And I was like, oh, wow, that's like really, really close to home. So then I went, how can I do this charity thing with streaming? Like more, not just, yeah. because I was doing the bits and then I was waiting for the Twitch payout, which at that time was like 60 days or 45 days or something. And then mm -hmm. I was putting the money to the charity. So it was, it was very delayed yeah. and there was a lot of like admin around it. And I was like, how, is there a way to do it um directly i'd never i'd never seen it done directly personally like i'd never seen people do charity streams uh and mm -hmm. then i actually reached out to lucy via the twitter account mm -hmm. um and said can i stream for you guys like are you guys doing anything and she said yeah we've got the campaign going for the bushfires right now i said perfect so i chucked it up i signed up for the accounts that you need to sign up for uh, i put a goal of 400 dollars, which i thought was huge because i'd normally done 30 dollars, 50 dollars, that sort of thing it is still huge yeah <laughs> Yeah, which is, which, is still massive, which is still massive. Yes, exactly right. Um, and I thought $400 is a huge goal for me, but we'll go for it. We'll go for it. Um, we got to two and a half thousand and I said, what? Like, that's crazy. And then I said, that's all right, you know, guys, look, if you double, I'll get a tattoo. I'll get a panda for the WWF and I'll make it a firefighter for the bushfires. So if you can make it to 5,000 and we did, that's what I've got here. Obviously, it's oh. upside down. Oh, I love but that. so we made five thousand dollars. We raised five thousand dollars for that, and that was just insane to me. And I've just been addicted to charity streaming since then, and I've just mm. been constant. I think I've done three campaigns for WWF now. Yeah, wow, that's that's wild. That's an incredible story. Like hearing that you you saw what happened, like the bushfires, and you you had a, like very deep connection to that as well. Um, I'm really sorry to hear about your was it your uncle. Your, uh, relatives um yeah, my grandparents who had, had to get, get evacuated and so forth. yeah yeah <clears throat> and the thing is like i think especially with the environment right like a lot of the times we don't really notice things going around because we don't experience you know deforestation yeah. or we we don't necessarily experience the, the ice caps melting or the pollution like you can't really see pollution most mm -hmm. of the time That's until really it's like <laughs> yeah until it's bushfires and then it's like bam you can't breathe <laughs> it's like yeah. Yeah. yeah um it was like all the skies were like dark and i and that's happening right now in california as well by the way mm. if anyone um it, you know hearts out to everyone who is being affected there right now um mm. yeah it's terrible it's <laughs> it's a thing that's accelerated by climate change because of the drought because of um the heat the temperatures and everything being so dry there's so much so many more bushfires nowadays um and it's not just bushfires there's so many other you know climate catastrophes that we're experiencing yeah. every single day um and yeah having you guys here to support and like help raise funds to address these issues in you know different sort of projects whether it's whether it's a wildlife hospital or it's you know 
um, making sure there's food for the animals when they run away from the fires mm -hmm. or you know planting trees for the future you guys are all here making a difference and helping be part of that push to make the world a better place and it's really great to have you all here and i really appreciate it um <laughs> yeah moving on from that <clears throat> we had a question in chat um again about charity streaming um and being a streamer um Medulla asks do you guys think it's necessary to already be an established streamer before embarking on a charity stream endeavor no. <laughs> Does it chime in right now? You don't have to be a solo streamer. We did kind of touch on this at the beginning of the panel, but basically, mm -hmm. as long as you reach out to the charities and stuff like that, they'll just, yeah, like it's just like any sort of charity work. You, you can just dive straight in, um, <laughs> and like it doesn't even matter if you don't actually raise any physical money straight off the bat either. It's just discussing it. It's the fact of showing interest is Word. a huge step in the the right direction, you know. So it's mm. as simple as just like, yeah, just, just get started and go from there. Talking to your loved ones, talking to anyone near you, just smash it out. Just go for it, you know? Um, <laughs> being a streamer is the second part of it, like charity yeah. first, <laughs> you know, tunnel 100%. vision. So, um, yeah, yeah, I think that's I, just a great way to start streaming as well if you are getting into it because it's literally true. you just showing your passion straight off the bat. Um, how can you not get any more wholesome than that? So yeah, which is true. Yeah, yeah exactly. Kiwi knows what's up. So, so yeah, <laughs> I think, I think that, like just just go I, for it. Just yeah. I, I think I think that if um yeah if you've got kind of like lower viewers or something like that like some people will look for kind of lower viewer kind of people and if they see that someone's like spending a lot of time trying to raise money for charity, you never know who's going to come along and support you, and be like yeah, let's let's help out this cause. Yeah. It's also my, my absolute favorite saying is a Swedish saying, it's Monga Bekashmo, which basically means that's a lot of little creeks that's up to big river. So like if you raise five dollars, but if you know a hundred people raises five dollars, it's it's that the idea of even if you're small scale streamer, you can you can make an impact, you can make a difference. So. Yeah. Exactly. Definitely. Like if everyone thinks the same way, you know, it'll be a huge it'll be a huge impact, you know. We're the we're the individuals, each and every one of us, that can make a difference if we all kind of work together on this. So if you agree with any of the messages World Wildlife Fund does, then like, let's do it, you know, just start up a charity event. You can, anyone can do it. So, definitely. Um, yeah. yeah. I think um, as, as, che as cheesy as it sounds, <laughs> it's like, as long as you can flow positive energy in the right direction, you're doing your job. You're doing your job as a good human being. It doesn't yeah. have to be monetary. Yeah. You know. Yeah, let's just show like the positive side of the charity because obviously there's so much awful stuff going on that you know you want to you know not feel helpless and I feel like this community has definitely helped with that kind of scenario you know like I'm aware but I'm also you know helpful like, I'm also like happy that I'm part of this community where I can potentially help um, even just by discussing it so I'm so flattered that I was invited to this panel by the way thank you <laughs> um, but yeah so it's because you guys are all legends <laughs> <laughs> you've all done such amazing things for your charity streams and honestly like i just appreciate it you're amazing and speaking of sorry lynn did you want to say anything else before i jump no on no go ahead. no <laughs> um <clears throat> we, we were talking about you know um like starting off as a streamer and you know doing like what what is it like being a streamer and how you do charity streaming but also the community aspect of it like meeting new people through charity streaming so you want to talk to that point because like this is what this is part of my job right my job is to get streamers together and hopefully run sort of community events and things that let's such as like a host train like Lucy said earlier you know bringing people together so that they they, they actually meet new people through fundraising for the same cause together um clone yeah, quick, would you I'll like quick, to talk I'll about quick, jump in. no qb you go first so just yeah. real quick uh, i think the the most positive people i've met in my entire life have been since i've been doing charity streaming put yourself out there meet great fantastic people that's that's it so if you be happy <laughs> do a charity event to say exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah meet some awesome people yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sense of togetherness is very strong and powerful, I think. 
feel like because you're all connected by something so passionately you know yeah yeah exactly we're all the same page when it's like we all have the tunnel vision to want to help so i think that's why you kind of connect with people Mm. Um, yeah for sure um yeah anything else you'd like to add Claude? (laughs) in terms of communities i mean you've run game shows you ran six game shows in a row (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what would you like to know? Us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, I mean, it's just trying to reach out to anyone really in a whole bunch of different like communities and like, you know, especially people like, um, you know, that like you're going to have on like, you know, like I had the game show. Like we had so many different communities and everything and that brought so many different people. And I think we reached about 400 people that day, like viewership or whatever. Wow um that was just because like we reached out to so many different communities to get involved in everything and yeah it's it's just all about like yeah reaching out <laughs> <laughs> we all grow stronger when we're together right like 100%. um why grow on your own when you can grow with other people yeah <laughs> <laughs> like that. yeah um there's so many and this it's a really good opportunity to like branch out and do things you wouldn't normally do um on your stream um like the PAX panel yeah yeah Yeah, there's so many things you can I think people like would do for charity that they wouldn't that they kind of want to do but they don't want to do for no reason you know what I mean those sort of things like like get a tattoo like Like get a tattoo yeah yeah wax jelly beans (laughs) all sorts damn Kibby you done the waxing too (laughs) (laughs) oh gosh um, Soda Mouse has a question in chat, actually. Does anyone here feel that as a streamer, it's been a natural progression to direct your positivity and passion that you give to your communities towards the charity? How receptive have your viewers been to your charity streams? My viewers love them. They jump on board. There's, <laughs> there's regulars that will drop two, three hundred dollars every charity, no matter what it is, as long as they, they look at the research, they look at the charity and they just drop it and they just love supporting it. It's just so positive. And I think I've, I've personally met so many people um, while doing a charity stream, they come in, they vibe on the charity and then they, they link up and you have that general connection because you both love mm. the same thing and then they stay and they love everything. And it just builds a really positive community. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So much, so much positivity in charity streaming, mm. I think. Yeah. Because yeah. um, who can say bad things when you're doing a good thing? Yeah. <laughs> you cannot badmouth my drawing. <laughs> it's a charity. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um okay, all right. We've got we're going to move through on to um something else now in terms of topics. Um what is a tip that you'd like to give for people who want to stream for charity? We've touched on, you know, people having like concerns about, oh, I've never streamed before. I've never done any or I'm a small streamer or um yeah like how any how do you have any do you guys have any tips for anyone who wants to do charity streaming in the future such as I think someone had a question earlier about how do you tie the charity that you're doing to your normal content as well and like how do you organize a charity stream hmm. well so, you can you can pretty can... much be doing what you usually do I think just um you can kind of make it a long duration then it's seen as a challenge and then people want to get on board with supporting the charity i think i mean well that's with me anyway <laughs> i keep doing the same same kind of crap and then i just do it for a longer period of time i'm like this is an effort <laughs> yeah but also mm. like raising awareness as well like playing you know i was playing some videos here and there just because just like mm. me i wasn't like as aware as i should have been until just before I decided to do the fundraising. So mm-hmm, raising sure. awareness like, is good. Like the, yeah, I feel like the first charity stream that you'll ever do, you'll always just be like, kind of just slip it in there. Like you won't really know what to do. Um, and you just kind of read your community and you get the feedback from them. And then, you know, from there you'll start thinking like, oh, maybe I could put incentives in or, you know, but like you mm-hmm. build up from that. But there's like just no harm in just setting up a charity event and then just talking about it to, for the get go. And, and like you as a content creator, your your content will evolve anyways. So you'll start mm-hmm. being like, hey, I think this is a good idea for me. So I do sketches if people donate 
to the charity that I'm having the event for because I draw, you know. So, you mm-hmm. know, maybe if you sing, you can do a little jingle for them if they donate <laughs> to charity. You know, it's just, you just kind of like get on your creative thing or even when you play games, you know, they can choose the hero you play or something like that. Um, basically, you let your stream mess with you and they'll donate yeah. to charity. So, <laughs> yep. um, but let them control it. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah. But yeah, like you just, yeah, you really just, um, you figure out what works for you and what your community might, you know, enjoy seeing and um, everyone's different. So it's just, it's a, it's a process. It's a process. But yeah, like, for example, getting inked is uh, one of the community's perks. So I want that one. Can you guys do that for me? (laughs) (laughs) It's a charity on getting more teddies. Okay. (laughs) Um, Joy, yeah. we've got a lot of people talking about your mermaid wheel. <laughs> Chat to that. What's your well, mermaid wheel? <laughs> well, basically, I think again with with incentives that I threw. Uh, I don't want to say trial and error, but just through te- through testing different things, I found that the best incentives, in my opinion, is the ones that where you can include everyone. The ones mm-hmm. that have that element of like fear of missing out isn't the ideal ones. I think. Um, so I like to put in incentives that are like things that everyone can <laughs> enjoy. So we've had this mermaid wheel where basically donating $5 to charity, then uh, I have this a typical spin the wheel that has a lot of different things. And one was like reading mermaid tarots, one was um, like eating lemon. I don't know, we had a lot of crazy, crazy ones that, was, um, that, that you had to do at spinning wheel. Um, but um, basically just that the whole element of in, uh, involving everyone would have, oh mm-hmm. yeah, no, I wasn't allowed to say thank you. So, oh. <laughs> and that, that was really Ooh. difficult. <laughs> that would be hard. <laughs> yeah, so difficult, especially then if someone goes to charity while I'm not allowed to say thank you, it's like, what do I do? Oh my God, it's so difficult. And then I'd it's have like, to watch cheers. Pingu. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have to watch Pingu <laughs> if I if I failed and, and I cannot stand clay stop motion. So I like to see oh me suffer. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all it, that's it, right? Like the chat loves to chat likes to do what chat likes to do and they want to see their streamer do things because they made them do things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um and incentives are a great way to get people to be involved and to donate as well. Um I know Clone, you had a really interesting like concept on your game show where you were like donors could choose to take money away or at or points well to it was all random team, right it was like oh. basically whatever like people are donating it was all randomly like taking points and like giving points to teams and everything so like yeah it was just mm-hmm. messing with everyone all day really <laughs> <laughs> it was all manual so it as well. i had to put that right. all in like manually oh, oh my gosh for, like an app or anything so yeah i was i was dying that day <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I did not know that that was manual. Wait, yeah. so it's every time someone donated, um, so one of the teams, the blue or red team, would get like a bunch of points or get negative points. Yeah, basically. depending on how much was yeah. donated. Yeah, yeah. How did you choose? <laughs> well, no, it was like it was all through the alerts and everything. So they were like all 50 50 and everything. I had that all set uh... up, but it was just like doing the math and everything. I didn't have a system set up at that point. So oh. I, had everything. I, I felt like an accountant. It was fantastic. <laughs> you there you go, you can brush up on your math skills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, any other incentives that you guys want to talk about? What is is there any specific incentive that you've thought about that like super stands out to you in terms I know we did that like intro video on um Twitter. If anyone wants to go check out at WWF underscore streamers, you can see all the stuff about all these incredible people around me. Um, but yeah, anything that any moment that particularly stands out to you. Um, I'm gonna start with the when we have hosted when we ran a 36 hour koala thon, which was like basically a marathon for um koalas last year. Um, it was 36 hours in in a studio like an office space basically um with like about 20 something streamers coming in and out for different segments um and there was one point where I ended up in a panda suit not not a onesie a full-on suit with a head and everything and it, it's I like giant that. with like a <laughs> yeah <laughs> and that was <laughs> yeah um and I was like kind of dying in the suit because it was like super sweaty and I was like in a sauna of my own breath 
but you know it was all it was all for charity and for raising money for the koalas you just repeating that in your head it's all for charity it's all for charity (laughs) yeah Yeah, I I was literally like someone donate money to get me out of this suit please and no one donated and I was like please guys please (laughs) um but yeah the thing to do for charity (laughs) yeah totally never done anything weird for charity definitely not (laughs) Definitely haven't done a sexy Bob Ross cosplay for charity. That would be, that'd be weird. <laughs> Did you actually do the painting as well while you were dressed up I, as Bob Ross? Yeah, yes, yes. Well, <laughs> the I actually did the painting on stream, but then I had the painting uh-huh. in the background while <laughs> I did the uh, cosplay. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? I mean, Clone, you mentioned you shaved your beard off. <laughs> for oh, that God. first stream you did i remember because i actually drew it on your little card i remember drawing that <laughs> oh yeah you did i forgot about that <laughs> sorry what, what was the question the most memorable like or weirdest yeah like memorable something well, that stands out to you from something you I, did you've I, done for charity i mean i tried to forget about the dry shaving and everything but like i would say the most memorable thing was literally like having uh well doing the the, the 12 hour uh, charity stream but it was like the very last show where we had weeble and rubbertron on and th- these are two guys that I've, I've been fans of for a long time and it was like oh my god i'm finally getting two awesome people i've followed for a long time on my show don't Aww. mess this up and it, don't oh it was horrible <laughs> no, no. They, they completely talk over the show and everything i was just like oh whatever let these guys get on with it and yeah no it, it was fantastic and that really just stands out the most and everything and they brought in a lot of money at the end <laughs> hey that's so cool Crazy. Yeah, they're having can... a bidding war <laughs> <laughs> i love that yeah because you can also like reach out to people who are like um people that you really think are are really cool that you might not you know it's kind of weird to like reach out to like a streamer that you don't know that you sort of watch without a reason how i got robertron on the on the show like he wasn't actually going to be on the show because he put out a tweet saying um oh what was it oh whoever wanted me on their charity show your friends reached out to me uh just dm me and then someone else got in touch right and said, oh, yeah, uh, is it Clone's game show charity thing? And he was like, no, <laughs> that's not what I was asked for, but I'm interested anyway. So it was completely <laughs> yeah. So you sniped the streamer. Yeah. Like, you told them. Gotta, you just got to crap him. <laughs> oh, God. I love that. Can't that's great. <laughs> I mean, you also had what Doug from um was it the last? Oh yeah, or? Doug Cockle, yeah, yeah. Uh, the voice actor of uh, oh, the uh, was it Witcher. Geralt from the Witcher? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's he's getting into streaming now. Uh, I was talking to him the other Ooh. day in a call and everything, uh, trying to get him on old Twitch. But yeah, um, he jumped on for a bit, had a good old catch up and a chat and stuff. Uh, he, he loved every bit minute of it. He was watching the whole chat, like he had it on all day apparently. The whole charity wow. stream. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, he's so lovely. nice. <laughs> yeah, I he put on that dog mask. Oh thing. god, yeah, he did. Yeah. That's now an emote in my chat. Dog, <laughs> uh, sorry, dog cockle. Uh <laughs> but yeah, he put like a, a dollar store like dog mask for anyone that didn't see. And he was like, I'm gonna do this in clone style. I was like, what has he got? A wrestling mask now is a dog face. I was just like oh, <laughs> amazing amazing i love that yeah i remember jumping in for that one segment where you were like special special guest and i was like i want to see who this special guest is and that was that was fun time um thanks for sharing that um anyone else qb or sprucy would you like to share anything else that stands out to you mine's just my tattoo really your tattoo yeah sprucy no big deal (laughs) I don't know. I was just, uh, after one stream, I was just covered in, like, usernames down the arms, had a moustache oh. on. I, I had an incentive up, like, uh, that I'd shave off my eyebrows. It didn't It didn't quite happen, but... Oh, thank God. <laughs> I know people are just like, are you crazy? I'm like, well, I can draw them on. And then I'm like, oh, now that I'm thinking about it, it probably won't really be... Like, that'll be kind of humiliating. It'll be obvious. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I do know a streamer who shaved off their eyebrows for no reason once, so... <laughs> anything yeah. goes on on the internet right yeah. i don't think yeah. anyone's gonna judge you for that anyway <laughs> um and now that we're all at home anyway you're not even you don't even need to go out so. yeah true as long as i stay far back from the camera I'm like, yeah <laughs> <I'll notice>. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah all right well oh, gosh everyone in chat 
<laughs> we really want this to happen. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Um, you, I did say Koalathon, by the way. Um, um, yeah. Well, we only have another ten minutes left of this stream. Um, does anyone in chat have any other like super like any questions that are on like the tip of your tongue or like anything you want to ask the panelists while they're still here? Um, otherwise, we can talk about some of the WWF things, um, such as, you know, WWF streaming. Jeez, time flew by. Time yeah. does fly by indeed. We've been here for 50 minutes. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Successful panel. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, we did have some questions, actually, um, from the Q&A form that we put out. Um, someone asked, I don't have the gear, like what's a good starting point to get into streaming mm. gear and internet wise, especially for internet quality in Australia? I think Lynn should answer this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just borrow someone's laptop. <laughs> just ready to go. Just smack it on. Uh, just run on super low settings if you're an Australian and play Binding of Isaac, nothing else. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> keys to success <laughs> yeah quality gold right there mm. <laughs> but yeah. seriously um bare bones you don't really need much to start it's just having a crack at it and see see how it goes because you know australia is pretty well known i think people will just give you a pat on the back for trying so mm. start it out see what you have access to and um you know people will uh so hopefully support you <laughs> be like well, you're doing your best so um yeah yeah, there's yeah. not really any branding or anything, just, you know, whatever you can get your hands on, you'd be amazed with what you can do with it. So, mm. again, this is my, my repetitive logo, but just do it, you know, just <laughs> get on there. <laughs> just get on there and you'd be yeah. amazed at how many amazing people you'll meet. So, I don't mean to brag, but it'll happen. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, I started out streaming on just a laptop too, but I needed two rocks underneath it on both sides to make sure they didn't overheat. But it was actually, it's quite hilarious too, because having pretty poor gear can really make fun moments because sometimes the camera would, would glitch out and it would look like I teleported myself to different places. And like the audio <laughs> would sound like I was a robot sometimes. It just created a really like hilarious moment sometimes. So. Yeah, people love right. scuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah really scuff can. streams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, I started, I, I started streaming this year as well. Um, and I started on my MacBook laptop, which is right here, which is not, you know, this is, this is what I use for like studying. Um, mm. and it like up until very recently, OBS wasn't even available for Mac either. It was only windows. So I didn't, I couldn't stream before that, but then now it's like, well, I don't stream on this anymore, but I did stream. I did start with just the webcam from the laptop itself. These earphones until people were like, we're sick of your terrible audio quality. Here's a mic. <laughs> 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 okay. um, yeah. And then I was, I was playing like Tetris online like, with chat and like oh. the most low key oh. games because yeah. I couldn't run anything oh. above that um as well so you absolutely don't need much streaming yet you can you stream off a phone these days as well mm. like you don't need anything really to get started just yeah. just do it as lynn said you probably already have access to it based on what we're saying so you'd be yeah. amazed at the things you have you can actually stream off of it's really accessible even in australia which is i know mind-boggling but you know I think uh, OBS is slowly catering to us, so our internet quality, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> mm, definitely, even just like a, an older laptop with no cam, and you know, you can use, you can look mm. at Twitch chat or whatever streaming platform you're on uh, on your phone or a tablet. Like it's yeah. just just yeah. start. You don't need you to have four screens. Yeah, you don't need to have four screens and um, a seven thousand dollar computer and a three hundred dollar <laughs> mic. Like you don't have to. <laughs> If anything, Exit. we would recommend you to start yeah. lower so that way you're not accidentally mm -hmm. investing in things that don't actually suit you. So, so a lot of people buy things up front, but they don't actually know what they're getting into yet. But, you know, you might actually be buying the wrong thing for you. So yep. definitely yep. just use what you have right now and then see, oh, actually, I think, you know, this kind of thing would suit me better. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I would recommend for you just to piece together everything you have and go from there to begin with. So... And Definitely, probably yeah. get in the end when you can, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aussie internet. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, well, we have about five minutes left of this this panel, which is very, very little time. So um, I'm just going to touch on quickly um, how you can get involved with WWF streaming. If anyone doesn't know about the WWF streamers program, sorry about this promotion, by the way, if anyone wants to <laughs> jump in and ask any other questions, feel free. Um, but if you would like to get involved with streaming for WWF, helping out the wildlife and the environment, um, we are we are. You can see down below. There's the Twitter and our website links. So there's all this info on how to register, how to get your stream toolkit, um, also how to join the community on Discord as well on our website. Also follow us on Twitter. You'll you'll be able to see um, us share anything that's WWF streamer related. And there's a whole community of amazing lovely people just like everyone here on this panel who are super positive super lovely um who are there in discord as well um and we run four campaigns a year so um if you want to be part of the next campaign our next campaign dates are i'm, I'm gonna announce the dates here i mean actually i've already technically dates are <laughs> um <laughs> for the next campaign save the dates first to the 20th of december this year um, we will be, I haven't announced the theme yet, so I'm not going to do that today, but it may be something related to, hmm, how do I do this without giving it away? Yeah, something stuff. related to <laughs> trees. <laughs> I'm sold. No, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm ready. Um, yeah, and a certain animal that lives in trees so uh, not gonna say any more than that I'm sure you all can think of what's happening um but yeah first to 20th of December if you want to get involved come jump in the discord come jump on twitter join us everywhere and something related to WWF um and I was um I'd, I'd love to have you all on board no matter how big you are how small you are if you're even just starting streaming I don't care come join the community like you're all welcome um, and we appreciate every single person that comes and, you know, supports the cause because you're all awesome and you're all amazing and lovely people. Definitely. Um, any final words from anyone else? Yeah, just quickly, if you jump in the WWF Discord, um, you'll see on the on the right hand side there's community champions. Um, so feel free to reach out to any of them if you have any questions about streaming at all. QB is one of them. So. <laughs> Yeah. Um, anyone? Final comments from anyone else? Anything you'd like to share to all the lovely people out um, watching us from the PAX stream right now? Final, I final words. I want to say I love y'all. Thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for yeah, being thanks here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, so, so much for being here, for watching this stream. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Lynn, Clone, QB, and Splucy. Y'all are fantastic human beings. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day, volunteering to be on this panel to talk about streaming, talk about charity streaming, talk about WWF. And you're all amazing. Um, you thank you. Thanks, Patty. So much. <laughs> thank you guys for being part of the community. <laughs> All right, we better wrap this up now. We, oh, where's Mara? <laughs> we yeah. love you all so, so much. Thank you all so much for being part of this community and this positive energy making a difference in this world um and we will see you around on all our socials have a great day night wherever you are and we'll see you later bye, okay. bye. Dark Magic is the wizard of Acquisitions Incorporated. He is, first and foremost, I would say a stage magician. He's a performer. So the spells that he has um, tend not to be very useful. Not great for the rest of the party, um, just because I can't help a lot. I don't do a lot of damage. Um, but I can, I can make people invisible. I can make showers of sparks. There's a lot of exciting crowd thrilling spells that Jim can do. One of the things about Idle Champions is that all the characters have unique equipment and so it was really important to go through Jim and think about what his 
the unique things are, right? So he's got his wand holster and his twin wands. Um, he's got his uh, skull brooch, 